Yeah, let's talk about some technical features and uh, how we practice it. Mm -hmm. While well, we uh, talked already about that um, it is necessary to have a really plain and uh, quiet uh, touch in the first movement yeah. and uh, with a different uh, melody sound. Mm -hmm. And uh, here is one problem in uh, bar number eight where you have to reach a ninth and um, which is really difficult and the yeah. proposal of uh, Mari Pereira is um, to take the A with the left hand. Can you show this? It's not written, but you do it wonderfully. I think you play the octave and then you do a silent change. Yes, and then it works. Yeah. Yeah. Um, on the third beat of this bar, I think we don't need two thumbs. You could just play one, th one two, three, but you did. Yeah, and it, it works very well. Then for practicing the different touch of both voices here. Yeah. Maybe you could do such things. And maybe also in other um, uh, constructions of the chord. Can you try this? Yeah. Yes, this is exactly what is required, I think. Mm -hmm. And what one could also do is... Uh, keep a little bit the third finger to go in the next position. And then you have a... Kind of perfectly got it. Yes. Yeah. yeah, very good, very good. No, this sounds wonderful. And um, for the beginning to create this kind of silence and relax, and, uh, but kind of relax under tension, it's a paradoxon, but mm -hmm. it must be some, some uh, thing in between. Um, I would be always in contact with the key and yeah. think about that the keys play with your hands mm -hmm. and with your fingers and not yeah. you with the keys. So <laughs> when you uh, put down the key yeah. and you leave it, then it comes up because it has a special, uh, uh, a certain energy mm -hmm. and this energy puts your finger up. And I would, I would use this for the beginning and having this part of the hand on the keyboard. Uh, can you try? Wonderful. Yeah, very good. And uh, later when we have these um, uh, moments where we have a voice, wo bist du? Then you give a little bit weight onto the thumb. Can mm -hmm. you try? atmosphere of complete equalness and um, kind of a dead valley or whatever. Um, put out all the weight of your arm, yep. like a, have your arm hold like a marionette and you play with the fingers. Mm -hmm. Can you try? <coughs> Yeah. 
yes, yes, wonderful, wonderful. And so um, the the um, amount of uh, material should disappear completely, so that uh, one thinks, what is this? Mm -hmm. What instruments plays this? And it comes out really very, very good. Um, second movement, we have these problems with the uh, legato in the left hand and the articulation in the right hand. Mm -hmm. I think this is one of the most difficult passage in this second movement. Yeah. Can you just show it? Yes. Yeah. To practice it, I, I would just um, also return to C major, like we did in the other productions. And maybe you play. Is about so that you really get a complete independent articulations in left and right hand mm -hmm. and uh, then it will work and it works very good with you. <laughs> Can you show it again? Yes, very good. And uh, then in the trio with the pianissimo, um, uh, I would play as legato as possible. And um, maybe even with some finger changes um, for the octaves. Can you try this? Yes, uh, I think there is also, this is a moment of four bars of pianissimo where it should be completely sound uh, immaterial. And, uh, um, yeah, and uh, changing the pedal quite late, so that for a moment we have the sound which is overlapping. Mm. Yes. Yeah. This would be wonderful because this is only just a moment of four uh, uh, bars of pianissimo, but it's a completely different new sound. Mm -hmm. Good. Last um, movement um, yeah. with the uh, arpeggios. Could you start again just to show it? Uh, yeah, very good. So uh, when we practice it, we did it also in other keys. And we played yeah. that in D minor and in E flat may, uh, minor. I would do it in all 12 keys. And um, then um, also, uh, please, like, uh, uh, Super V in the other sonata, just show how you practice it. Huh? Uh, I practice in, in group, mm -hmm. uh, some, uh, sometimes like this. And, uh, and uh, slowly, and uh, sometimes I play like. And then. Uh, when, uh, yeah, when yeah. More. I, yeah. I think this is re really very important because uh, we have these positions, yeah. but of course uh, in between we always um, have to close the hand because we have this yeah. and, and this and uh, so it is important also to yeah. play and to practice this change of positions uh, which uh, we have in, in the fourth uh, etude of Chopin you have it uh, yeah. uh, just on one note and uh, mm -hmm. can you try uh, can you show again yeah And I also would uh, play very fast, but only short passages. Yes, and 
in this uh, uh, bars, I would also uh, take some pedal to mm -hmm. have a bigger sound. Yeah. And uh, okay, so this would be important, and maybe practicing this arpeggios over the whole uh, keyboard four octaves. Why not? Yeah. And um, then there is the uh, big uh, difficulties, which is the trill. And uh, you do it in your performance so easy, nobody can think that is, this is difficult. Uh, could you show it to us? Uh, Maybe yeah. from here. Yes, very good. Can you do it in slow motion? Because it is really uh, very, very good and clear. <laughs> but one should see what you do. Yeah. One can see in this tempo, even uh, five notes are enough. And uh, it sounds like a really virtuous trill. And of course, your hands are not the biggest one, but they are uh, perfect for this kind of music. So with a the, with the pedal, you can just uh, leave the thumb and uh, hold the thumb with the pedal, and then you are free with the other fingers. Can you try? For this dramatic moment, what, what is really also important, uh, you have to start the octave and then a little bit less and then inside this ornament you do a crescendo. Yeah, now do it again in original tempo from, from here. So we have five notes in the right hand and we have four notes in the left hand. Mm -hmm. So I would practice it first one to one and then three against two. Uh, so like this. And the other way is first three and then two. And of course, when you have done it slowly, forget it and play five <laughs> notes. And we have done it and you do it perfect, but this would be the way uh, to get the coordination with the left hand. Okay. And um, then uh, the next is the, are the jumps um, here with the... Can you just show this moment? Yeah. Yeah. Here I also would propose like we did in uh, the sonata of uh, Super V, uh, make it more difficult. Uh, do a jump one octave more. Mm -hmm. So uh, you have... Um and you do this. Can you just left hand very slowly. this a little bit faster then the original will be very easy yeah. um, and then yeah we have this passage with the double chords uh, um, yeah. and I think there is a very important put the weight out of the arm mm -hmm. think you are a marionette and let it just um, without too much uh, playing inside the keyboard mm -hmm. So this you can reduce to C major and yep. something like this. Can you show it? Yes, and now do the original here. Yeah, very good. Maybe uh, 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 with the left hand. Very, 
very well. Um, the end. Uh, also, my proposal would be um, play this in all scales. Uh, let's maybe do this um, the very end. Oh. <laughs> do this just like it's written. So here you can do the same which we did at the at the beginning. Can you try this. Yeah. Very good. And if you practice it in uh, F minor, you can already play the appassionata <laughs> and uh, with the trills also the tema and the. Uh, you can do this with four, four and five. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm very impressed what you have done, and uh, thank you very much and uh, for your performing, for performance and uh, all you have worked, and uh, it was a pleasure. Thank, thank you. you.